Hey guys, what's up? How does my hair look today? Because today I want to share with you guys how I achieved this hair look because it's one of my favorite. It's just girly, voluminous, but messy and piecey. And it's my go-to hairstyle right now when I'm doing anything where I want to look next level bomb to myself and just like feel really cool and girly and like cute and styled and just like also kind of no fuss with my hair after it's done because I don't have to worry about it at all when I do this. And yeah, if you guys want to see how I achieve this look with my hair, then make sure to keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can see all the new videos that I put out. And you can do that by just clicking the subscribe button right down below. So yeah, let's get right into the video. So before we get into actually styling my hair, I do want to just tell you guys about the products that I will be using and the things already in my hair. So as you guys know, I have curly hair to begin with. So right now it's straight. It's on its second day. So I straightened it yesterday and I blow dried it a little bit. And then I actually even worked out last night. So this is like second hair with a little bit of extra grit to it just because of like the fact that it's dirty and whatever. Now second day hair is actually a lot better when you're styling curled hair, at least if you've at least strained it beforehand. It just, your hair has a little more like kind of stiffness to it so it'll just hold all of your styling just a little bit better than if you had freshly washed hair. Now because I have washed my hair and it's already dry there are two products that I use on an almost daily basis that are already in my hair. The first one is the L'Oreal Ever Cream Nourishing Leave-In Spray. This is my favorite leave-in conditioner. It does such a good job at just hydrating my hair, detangling it, all that stuff. I also have in there the Bumble and Bumble Repair Blow Dry um cream I think I don't know what they exactly call it but it is like a styling cream that I put into my hair it has heat protection it just keeps it um styled in like a very smooth finish so it kind of seals the hair follicle a little bit and I use this guy every single day and the last product that's in my hair right now from yesterday when I wore it is the Aveda brilliant universal styling cream this stuff just has a really nice scent my hairdresser uses it on me so I started also using it on a daily basis it essentially just gives a little bit of shine to my hair and helps it not frizz up during the day um, but I really just like the smell now the new products that I will be using in my hair today are mainly spray products that are going to help it keep its shape and that are going to give it a little more texture and grit for hold. So the first hair product that I always use when I'm curling my hair is some sort of hairspray. My favorite right now is the L'Oreal Elnet. This happens to be the one for color treated hair even though I don't have color treated hair at the moment but it's just the one that I have. And then because I like having kind of undone waves I do use some texturizing sprays. So this one is the dry bar triple sec it is a leave-in shampoo uh, dry shampoo a texturizing spray and an amplifying spray as well so it's supposed to volumize too and then I have the way texturizing hairspray so these you'll see when I use them they just add a ton of extra body and volume to my hair to actually curl my hair what I'll be using today is this Conair one and three quarter inch um, curling iron and I like using ones with clamps. I just like the effect that I get from it and how easy it is to use on my hair and you'll see kind of how I actually use it today. I couldn't necessarily do it with a wand. And then I have just a hairbrush which this is just a paddle brush that I got at CVS and I'm only going to use it right now to actually brush out my hair because I don't want any knots. So I have fairly thick hair, especially in the back, not so much in the front. Because of that, I do part my hair um, whenever I'm styling it. So for this kind of hairstyle, I mainly part it back by my temples or where my eyebrows are. And I will just section this up and clip it above my head to keep it out of the way. The first step before I actually use the curling iron, and this is something that I found helps to keep my hairstyle in place all day, is to just lightly mist the hair with just a little bit of hairspray. Um, hairspraying it beforehand helps the hairstyle last a lot longer, especially for my hair since it's straightened right now and it will try to revert back to that form. So starting with the left side of my hair, I'm going to demo exactly what I do to get the curls that I like. 
So basically I take everything from right behind my ear forward. So this is about two sections of hair that I'm going to be working with. And this is something that I learned from Jojo, who was the bachelorette who I was obsessed with. Everything from your ear forward, you wanna curl away from your face. And then everything after that, I will switch. So let me explain that to you guys. Curling away from your face is when you open up your curling iron, you want the clamp to go by your face if you're curling away from it. If you're curling towards your face, then you want the clamp to point away and you roll it in. Now, when you curl it away from your face, it opens up your face. When you curl in, it closes it off. So it makes sense that everything by your face should open it up just to kind of highlight your features a little bit more. Now for the curling that I like to do, my curling iron is on the highest setting. And what I do is I just heat up the hair once by running the curling iron through it. And then I will curl away from my face, wrap it up twice, hold it for a couple of seconds until the hair is heated up, uncurl it, slide the clamp down, and curl it up once again. So that's about one twist of your ankle. And then I'll let it out. And what this gives me is a really nice kind of loose, wavy curl. And once I'm done with my hair, you guys will see that it's just a really effortless, um, loose kind of curled hair look. Yep, that was great explanation, Joanna. So curling it once away from your face, letting it out, moving your curling iron down and twisting up once. And as you curl your hair more, you'll get a sense for when your hair is really done. Um, if you're someone who's new to doing this, then I'd say you could always touch the hair very lightly so that you don't burn yourself. So now this next section, because it's my third one from my face and it's behind my ears, I'm going to heat up the hair and then I'm going to curl it towards my face. So moving the clamp away from my head and curling it in. So twist it up once. And because this is a little more hair, I just wanna make sure that it's hot and then curl it up. Now something that you guys will see is I kind of leave about two to three inches of hair at my head out of the clamp at all times. So that part is never getting curled. And then I just work on the lower half of the hair. So now the next section, I'm going to curl away from my face. Now, one tip that I always follow when I'm curling my hair is to try and work in the smallest sections possible. Because my hair is a little bit harder to curl, I find that when I'm working with smaller pieces of hair, they're actually going to get a cuter look and a piecier look, which is what I want, and it's going to give you a little bit more volume as well. So you really wanna work with about an inch or less of hair at a time. And right now I'm kind of breaking that rule. So again, I'm just getting a nice little bendy wave. And now not every piece is going to be curled in the exact same way in some hair strands I'm going to honestly not release the curl quite as much just because it might be harder to reach like in the back of my head right now I might not always remember to switch which direction I'm curling in on every single curl it might be more like every like two curls will go towards my face and every other one will go away you guys kind of get the deal so now that this whole half of the section that is down has been curled, I do take my hairspray again and just lightly mist it. Mist that really quick, okay. So every time that I work with doing my hair, I find that I have less sections on one side than the other. It's different every single time I do my hair, so I don't know why, but this looks like a pretty small section, so I'm actually only going to curl this one section away from my face, rather than dividing it into two like I did on the other side. So again, wrapping the hair up about once, leaving a solid three inches away from my head, on twirl and then twirl up and then release it and again it's just that nice loose kind of bendy curl and now that this section is done I'm just going to again 
hairspray it. This is what the bottom section looks like. And the bottom section you don't have to worry too much about just because it's going to be hidden by most of the hair on top, but it is still very important obviously. So I'm going to now drop down just a smaller section of this next part of my head. So I'm actually going to work with taking half of my hair up top. I'm going to drop this down, section this up for a second, just that way I can better show you guys. I'm not going to work with this whole section just yet. I'm actually going to section out the front pieces of my hair and I'm going to clip those up. So I'm working with the back section of my hair first. Mist. And working from the back section first, I'm actually going to curl this under so if you guys can kind of see that to heat it up just that way it gets a little more lift in the back and then curling it away and I'm still going to use that same technique of leaving a little bit out at the bottom and then unwinding my hair but just kind of lifting it out initially just gives me a little more volume in the back which is where my hair tends to fall flat by the second day. Now, because all of this hair is actually behind my ear, I am switching which direction they go in. Um, and then everything that I clipped back up will all be curled away from my face. But now these top pieces, again, because they're going to kind of be the crown of my head, I'm just going to lift it away. Then almost curl it under like that. Now I'm actually going to work on the other front of my hair now. So taking that section down, leaving this whole half up. So all of this is kind of my bangs because they're my face framing pieces and then I do have shorter bangs in there. So I'm going to take all of the longer pieces first and just go ahead and curl this as I did everything else away from my face. And I'll probably hold this just a little while longer because it is that front piece that I want really nicely curled. Just like that. But now these bangs, I don't necessarily want them to have a full curl. They're a lot shorter so I just can't do that. So instead I kind of loop the curling iron once and just run it through my hair and pull it back so I get that really nice bend to my hair. So as you guys can see, it has just like that adorable swooping motion, but not a full curl. So now that this whole section is done, I can just mist it and then focus on this half of my head. And so now to finish everything, let me just miss this and then drop down these last pieces to curl and starting with the long piece. I have a little more in this section than I did on the other one. So I'm just going to divide it in half. Curling this one a little more like I did all the others. because it's not that first piece right behind my, my bangs. And then this one, I'm going to take a little bit more seriously. So really holding this curl. And now the bangs, again, if you guys missed it before, I, instead of doing a normal curl, will just pull down the hair, do a semi-curl, 
and then pull the curling iron through my hair and back. So that way it just gives it that nice bend. So curling iron off now because I should be done using it unless if I need to touch up any pieces. I normally don't go that crazy with my hair unless if it's a really important event. But now I finish it all off. So I need to mist back that hair that I didn't hit and then just a quick judge of hairspray in the back. But that is not it. So you could leave your hair like this and I think it's cute, it's pretty, but I like to give it just a little bit more. So that's where my texturizing and volumizing sprays come in. Now, triple sec I really like because it has the best smell ever, but the way texturizing spray just gives it a tiny bit something extra that this guy alone can't do. So I'm going to take this and spray it mainly at my root, which you guys can tell already, like look at this right here compared to this side like that and then in the back I'm just going to lift up and I kind of lift and drop and just do this guy's starting to run out okay so that might be all that I can get out of that guy anyway but now I'm going to go in with my way and do the same thing just kind of lifting and dropping all the way from the bottom of my hair to the root and even in the front too and if you guys can see what this looks like now compared to this side everything just gets a little bit piecier and like sexy bombshell-esque so my hair has a little more grit to it that I can definitely feel but I mean if you guys can just see all that volume and then I just kind of push it up and like twist it almost and my hair is something totally different than where it was just a couple seconds ago and I'll even do a little bit of like a hair toss just to get it that much extra and I mean guys this is my favorite hair that I have almost ever achieved probably and you could do this on longer hair on shorter hair and it's just really really cool and volumized and just like tousled and I love it um, if you guys wanted a little piece here I probably wouldn't flip your hair and toss it around like I did because that does kind of mold it back together but if you just kind of toss it again it goes back and I honestly feel like I'm starting in a Pantene commercial after I do that so I hope that you guys liked seeing how I achieved this hair and if you guys liked it make sure to give it a thumbs up down below let me know if you want more hair videos in the comment section so I can do those for you or leave me any kind of video requests that you have so that way I can of course get those up too so I'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time bye and if you guys want to check out one of the last videos I did, go ahead and click the video right here.